Hey, Explore Tulsa, how you doing? Come on in. I'm Dr. Robert Zellner, owner of Dr. Robert Zellner & Associates. I've been in business here in Tulsa for 20 years. I'm an optometrist. I have two office locations. One's at 69th and Memorial and one's at 30th and South Harvard. Well, I am a local guy. I grew up here in Tulsa. I attended Union High School and actually Bixby High School also. I'm one of seven children, six boys and one girl. I had to go to the eye doctor when I was younger, so I was always fascinated with all the equipment and, and the ability to go in, and then all of a sudden I got to see clear when I left, and I always thought that was a neat deal. And it seemed like it was a nice balance between the business side, the selling of glasses and contacts, and the doctoring side and helping people see better, and it seemed to be a perfect fit for me. All my life I was fascinated with horses. I loved them, I loved being around them. I said to myself when I was little, gosh, one of these days if I'm fortunate enough and I have the opportunity, I always dreamed of having a, a horse ranch. About 10 years ago, I started getting thoroughbred race horses, built up a stable, if you will, and then about five years ago, I found the perfect ranch, a ranch that I'd driven by many times and just had fallen in love with. Um, it actually wasn't for sale, but I called the owner and said, I'd like to buy your ranch. And the gentleman said, it's, it's not for sale. And I said, so? I still want to buy it. And after about six months of negotiations, uh, I bought the ranch and renamed it the Rock and Z Ranch. It's about halfway between Tulsa and Ogmulgee, right on Highway 75. First of all, I had to hire a trainer, and I met a gentleman by the name of Joe Flemings, and we discussed, and, and I hired him to be my trainer. And then I was going to claim a horse, and in a claiming race, all the horses in the race are for sale. And if you do your paperwork and put the money up, then you can actually buy the horse right out of the race. We did our research, and we claimed our first horse and, and had some fun with her. One of the most exciting moments in horse racing, when I first bought the Rock and Z Ranch, I moved my horses onto the property, and one of the first horses born there, I named Peach Brew. And Peach Brew won last year, actually two years ago. She won my first graded stakes race, which in the thoroughbred business is, is kind of a big deal. There's not many of them, and they are the highest level races. And there's a lot of gentlemen that have been in racing longer than I have that have not yet won a graded stakes race. I love horseback riding. When the horses are actually in training, I don't ride them at that point. But when they're retired and they come back to the ranch, the, the few that we keep for, you know, I try to keep three or four of the geldings that um, have retired from the track. And we take them to the ranch, we turn them in, we try to rehab them into a second career. And then once we rehab them, we try to find them good homes where they can go and be a, a hunter jumper or someone's uh, personal rider around the ranch. And so we do ride those and have fun and kind of retrain them. You know, when you get on them when they first come off the track, they want to go fast and turn left. That's, that's all they know. So we have to kind of retrain them in order to, uh, to not go so fast and they can actually turn right also. Well, the way that the family gets involved is, especially when my, when my boys start to, um, to date young ladies that love horses, and then all of a sudden they have a renewed interest in the ranch and have to, you know, want to go out there quite a bit, it seems like. Uh, my daughter and I actually, when I first got involved in horse racing, um, we, we did horseback riding lessons together. And that was a real bonding moment for my daughter and I. Uh, we would go and take lessons together and ride around uh, and, and do our jumps and, and have some fun with that. And uh, the ranch has been a, a fun place, not only to go to ride horses, but to go ride four-wheelers, to go just hang out, uh, build a bonfire and make s'mores and hang out for the evening. And uh, it's just a special place to be. Tulsa's my home and I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to, uh, Oklahoma's had some recent changes in the horse racing laws and it's been a real pleasure to kind of be a part of that and to help, to help those changes and to see those changes come through and to see that now horse racing has kind of had a, a rebirth and a, a new life, if you will. Yeah, get out. If you haven't been to the horse races recently, the uh, facilities have been upgraded. They're a great place to take the family. Not only the beauty and pageantry of the horse races, uh, but also you can get great meals there and enjoy an evening out with the family um, and maybe even get lucky and uh, make a few bucks. Hopefully I'll see you there.
All right, Explore Tulsa, thanks for coming by now. Get on out of here.